morning, sir. My name is Ronald F. Bolso. I will be the nurse and I will be doing the assessment for your cardiovascular system. Uh, but before I will begin, may I ask for your name and your birthday? Joseph Anthony Nehater, June 25, 2004. Okay. Uh, just in case you're not in, uh, familiar with the, uh, the assessment, or the purpose of this assessment. Um, the reason that we will be doing this assessment is so we can detect any early signs or any unusual changes in your cardiovascular system. Okay. Uh, position na lang, 40, 45 degrees. Then hand hygiene and white gloves. Then inspect and palpate the carotid arteries. And then auscultate once again using the bell of your stethoscope. Next, we will observe for the jugular vein distension. Uh, observe for any pulsations. Okay, sir, can you look at this side? Next is we will inspect and palpate for the, uh, the precordium. Next, we will uh, palpate and auscultate for the uh, landscapes of the cardiovascular system, which is commonly called APTOMAN for your acronyms. Then auscult it once again, but uh, instruct the patient to breathe normally with your instructions. Now we will be doing so, uh, we will do an assessment for a peripheral cardiovascular system. Uh, may I ask you to sit down? Okay, on my in my direction, facing my direction. Now inspect for the upper extremities for any lesions, uh, discolorations. And palpate your palpate for the radial and brachial arteries. This is your radial artery under the thumb. Oops. And then for your brachial. And then test for pitching in the
sir. I instruct the patient to lie down again. Then palpate for pulse and skin temperature at the posterior tibial and dorsalis pedis and the popliteal, popliteal areas. The assessment has done. Uh, we will do the after procedure, assist the patient in a more comfortable position. Sir, are you comfortable? Yes. Okay, that's good. Then proceed with hand hygiene or hand washing. Then remove gloves if you use any and then document the procedure.